Hey, this is Matt from Power Eagle Cleaning Systems and HOP Sales and Service. Recently, we had the opportunity to do some culvert thawing for a local town and city in a demonstration. This is the machine that we chose to bring with us. It's our most popular unit for towns and cities uh, for culvert thawing. It's our Power Eagle model DC3505. This unit does 3,500 PSI with five gallons per minute and a 210 degree hot water output. We use an 18 horse Vanguard V-twin engine with electric start, gasoline for the engine, diesel for the heating system. This machine is totally self-contained, so you need no electricity whatsoever. It's easy to put on the back of a truck, and because of the belt drive pump system, this machine doesn't need to be gravity fed with water out of your tank. You can actually drop a hose from the pump right into the top of your tank, and it'll draw straight in, really easy. A popular accessory with this culvert thawing setup is our machine mounted hose reel complete with 100 feet of hose. Mounts nice and neat up to the side of the machine right here and it allows the machine to be kept up at the truck on the street. We draw this hose, pull it down to the work area and connect it up to our culvert thawing kit. So that's a quick overview of the Power Eagle model DC3505 for culvert thawing applications and here's the machine in action. Hey, this is Matt from Power Eagle Cleaning Systems and HOP Sales and Service. Today we're going to be demonstrating some culvert thawing equipment. We're out here uh, at the point of the culvert. This is the flooded area right here on the street, the catch basin right here. And uh, at some point under the road and to the outlet side of the culvert, we've got a freeze. So it's resulting in uh, a lot of flooded water here on the road. And um, we're going to run one of our culvert thawing kits up the line and uh, break up that freeze and see if we can get some water flowing again. So right here we're at the outlet of the culvert. You can see we've got the freeze, the ice pouring out of the end of the culvert right here. And what we're going to use is our 3 8 inch um, thawing kit to free up the culvert. We've got a stainless steel self-feeding nozzle that's got one jet pointing forward and three jets pointing backwards. So this leading jet right here is going to break up the ice and melt while the back uh, backward facing jets are going to actually propel the nozzle upward and, and in increase the size of the hole. So we're going to start culvert thawing by inserting the line into the culvert then we're going to start the machine and let it uh, thaw the ice. So right now we're moving up through the culvert. That leading jet melting the ice ahead of it while the rear facing jets are enlarging the hole. This culvert seems like it's frozen pretty good. Could also be a lot of dirt caught inside there. Seems like we're getting a good amount of flow here. Looks like it was just frozen at the end. Looks like that's it. Looks like it was just frozen on the end. We'll pull it back and forth a few times, see if we can make a larger cut through it. That hot water and the high pressure really make the difference. You can see how it just kind of breaks its way up through there. This is not just regular pressure wash hose, this is actually a thermoplastic hose so it slides on the ice pretty easily. 
if we were using just regular pressure wash hose, it would it would collapse on itself and you wouldn't be able to push it. This hose right here, you can actually push. It's got a little bit more uh, rigidity than a traditional pressure wash hose.